So welcome back. This is part two of the creation of a service account that is going to help us automate uh, join and unjoin operations uh, using Centrify and Active Directory. In the previous video, we created a service account called AD Joiner. Uh, we delegated the rights for this account to be able to join and remove machines from the server container. We also uh, allowed that account uh, to modify uh, memberships of AD groups, security groups inside this particular container uh, to be able to, add, uh, the, so the machine can create computer roles or add machines to computer roles. We also delegated rights to the, to the account uh, to be able to join, remove, and modify computer profiles for computers that are going to be in the Centrify zone. In this video, we're focusing on creating the key tab. Another thing that we did on the previous video is to verify that we know the password, right? And, and this is a really poor security practice. We don't want to do this. Now we need to run AD key tab on the on a centrified system. So we're able to um, uh, create the key tab file uh, based on that service account, right? So let's just break things down because, you know, people get confused about KD key tab because of Kerberos and all that stuff. So AD key tab is a more advanced tool that Centrify provides for the operation and management of um, key tables. So um, AD key tab exists in this folder and user has been AD key tab, right? And what we're going to be doing is we're going to do an adopt operation. Actually, there's a, there's a, a typo there is uh, when we do the adopt. That means that we're going to adopt an existing AD account, right? Uh, the minus user uh, parameter is the authorized AD user that can perform the operation. Like I said in the previous video, most likely you're going to be working with your a AD counterpart to get this done, right? So um, the next uh, parameter is SAM name. And the reason being is because the last parameter of AD key tab is actually the CN, the container name of the account, right? It's very possible that the CN, if we look at the account, right? If we do properties here and we go to the um, uh, advanced features, let's go here. Right, so if we go in here and look at advanced features, we'll see the attribute editor. And um, uh, when we look at the attributes of this account, notice that the SAM account name, right, is ad-joiner. But if I look at the CN, right, the, the, the CN is called ad space joiner. So I need to be able to specify the SAM name if those differ. Key tab is just basically the location. Uh, of where the key tab is going to be saved. And I like to run this in verbose mode so I can see any errors, right? So again, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create the key tab. Notice that there's no files in my, in my directory. And I already have the command here. I need to run this uh, either with sudo or as root. I already am already I already elevated to root, so that's going to be easy. And and in the key here is that I'm going to be challenged, right? I'm going to be challenged by my password to provide my password, right? And uh, if I, everything seems to be fine, if I uh, uh, list the files here, notice that I have the agent AD joiner key tab file. And that shows you how uh, we can create the, the key tab file. Remember, once we have this, and once we, we run um, uh, AD key tab, AD key tab is going to randomize the password for that service account. So effectively, nobody knows it. Uh, this saves you from having to manage the life cycle of the account. It is possible that you want to uh, continue to know the password. I don't recommend that, but again, you have options with AD key tab to do that. And the way I, I can verify that I don't know the password anymore is if I try to verify that, and if I type in the password that I know that I typed before, notice that it says unable to connect to server. That means that uh, the password is incorrect. Okay, so in the next video, we will take this for a ride. I'm going to uh, leave the domain and I'm going to rejoin again automatically.